Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Jenny. Happy Friday to you. So last night I went to my favorite Dollar Tree. This one is located on Maysville Road here in Fort Wayne, Indiana. It is over 13,000 square feet and I was able to find so many fantastic new items. I am just completely blown away on what the Dollar Tree has been carrying. So I hope you all enjoy this extra long trip and I will see you at the Dollar Tree. Okay, so right when I walk in, they have this desktop basketball game. Over to the right, they're starting to get more and more of their Christmas items in. So here's some of the wrapping paper that they have. These were extra long rolls by Hallmark. You don't get a whole lot in a roll, but still it's name brand and love the characters on there. Look at that, they had a Hello Kitty one. Okay, and on the sidewalk here, they have a bunch of their Christmas gift bags. These are a fantastic deal. They come in all sorts and sizes, colors and designs. You can also cut these bags up and frame the bags for a wall art. Yeah, there's a lot of things you can do with these, so don't ever pass these up, along with birthday bags, wedding bags, all that good stuff, for only a dollar. And look at this one with the snow globe. They had a little bit of ornaments right next to the bags, which I don't see too many new ones, but I believe they had these last year. I'm not 100% sure. They have three different ones. Now these are cardboard. They are not wood or particle board, whatever you want to call it. So here on the back wall, I will show you more of their Christmas ornaments. Now I have noticed since the last time I was here, these are going quick. This is actually a pretty color. It's like a rose gold between rose gold and silver. Huge with a clip. So I know it's only October, but honestly, like a lot of people, you probably heard say, if you see something you like, go ahead and grab it because, because there's no guarantee it's going to be there the next time you go, which I have noticed a lot of the ornaments are gone, especially the gnomes. Speaking of gnomes, I'm going to be adding some pictures here at the end of some items that I'm hoping I can find at the Dollar Tree. If you are a gnome freak like me, go ahead and comment down below and say I'm a gnome freak. Pretty much all of these they had uh, last year. Except these, these are new. Now, once again, these are cardboard. Cute, but very, very fragile. Over here they have their long stem sparkly pine cones and some of their Christmas flowers. Now again, this was completely full about two weeks ago and it's becoming bare once again. These are little felt poinsettias in two different colors. They actually have three colors but the other colors are already gone. And then right behind me they have an end cap here full of some more Christmas flowers. These are cute little bows. You get two per pack. You could probably even make those in ornaments. Those would be cute. Then over in this aisle, and nothing new over here. A lot of this stuff is repeats from last year, so I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time over here. But I cannot believe how much is gone already. One lonely tin over there. Yep, same old, same old. And then right behind me, they had some items for DIYs, which once again, repeats. Here on the end cap, they have the items for your little Christmas tree. There's three different trees this year. 
These are new. These are earphone cases. They're like rubber. So they have this really cute panda bear and a unicorn. And they do come with a clip and a smarty cat. I added the smarty. Some more Christmas items. Once again, same items from last year. These are cute little mason jar wood cutouts for some decor. They also had a happy holiday snowman globe and the season greetings snowman. Some more items here on the end cap. These are candles and string lights. And these right here, I hauled the entire candle lights up and flickers. It's just not the flame. Here's the LED projector light. These are amazing. They have two different ones for Christmas. I love these. Over here, we have the fancy schnancy napkins. It's been months since I've recorded these because they've been gone. So since they restocked their shelves and organized everything, I thought I would show you. Here's some new foil garland. It is 12 feet long. So they have like this silver color and they have gold. Now you can cut these apart and use them for other things, make name tags out of them. Over here, they have a bunch of the confetti, and this is actually new confetti. It's a 0.6 ounce bag. How about some poop with a horn? Here you go. They have three different really soft squishies, ages three and up. Who thought poop would have a horn? Corn horn. <laughs> a corn horn. They always have a great variety of Hot Wheel cars. Some really cool ones. Look at this a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle one. And they go all the way up. Oh, what's this one? Fast and the Furious. Here's some crayons. 24 of them. They had it in Trolls, The Princess, and I think that's it. They're starting to get their Toyland games. This is fantastic. Two to four players for bingo comes with everything you need, and this was pretty heavy. I can't remember if they had this last year. This is new. Slime. Soft. Shake. Extra light. Pure color. They had purple, pink, yellow, and I think they had blue as well. Ooh, this is a cool squishy ball. Ooh, stress reliever. Need a box of those. Look at these little dinosaur cars. The mouth does open. They're ages three and up, and they have three different ones to choose from. I bought one of these last year for my son, and my golly gee, I can't even figure it out. They have the cute little mermaid doll, or fairy, whatever that thing is. So I'm going to go ahead and scan through the back wall and the side wall of just toys. This is an amazing Dollar Tree. It went downhill for a few months because they got um, a lot of new employees and new manager and everything. So this store is back up and running to tip top shape. I am so happy. Look at all of these items. Now, if you're ever in Fort Wayne, be sure you check this Dollar Tree out. I will link the address down below. I mean, toys are even over there. There weren't too many people here when I was here last night. Even on the end cap, more toys. So this is a new, a headband ring toss. So they have a unicorn one. That's what it looks like. And they also have a shark. Some more toys on another end cap. A lot of the Crayola items. 
Okay, now we are over here by the Crafter Square and Books. But first, I'm going to turn around and show you some items. Okay, look at these, you guys. These are by Crafter Square. These are galvanized. These are like 9 inches plus. Amazing! And it comes with a twine, a thicker twine to hang up. Wow. Six different ones. I was also able to find some new Crafter Square stencil wheels. Try to give you a glance there. Now, I don't know if there's any other ones. I don't feel like taking, there was like 50 or 60 of these hanging up and I had to dig through them. So I just grabbed the ones that I was able to get. And then they have these words. And some different designs and hearts. Same with this one. I prefer the self-adhesive ones, but I'm sure you can use the adhesive spray and stick this on something. So I'm going to go ahead and scan through their Crafter Square section here to see if there's anything else that jumps out at me. Now I know a lot of uh, Dollar Trees do have the Crafter Square section. Now they might not be as big as this one because this Dollar Tree is considered a racetrack store. So this store gets a lot of items that others will not. And everything in this store is $1. Ooh, they have the twine back inside. Or back inside. Oh <laughs> yes, it's inside. It is 69 yards and they have so many different colors. A fantastic deal for only a dollar. There's the transfer paper. These are great with crickets. Mm, bunch of stickers over here. Now I'm going to spin around and right behind me they have this. Going back to the back wall with the toys, these are new Jokers and Gags Twisties. They have four different ones. They stretch up to three feet. They felt like little night crawlers. That one's cool. Oh, found another one. These are more sparkly. Sparkly worms. There's a cute little art set. Make little keychains. Look at here, they have shrinky dinks. Oh, I love doing shrinky dinks when I was little. They come with the string to hang them up. The cute little ornaments you can put on a tree or buy one of the little Christmas trees from the Dollar Tree and have your little one make these and hang them up. That would be cute. Or a grandchild. They also have some new deco tape. These are usually always hanging up on the plastic strips, so be sure you always check down every single aisle and every checkout lane on these plastic strips because you never know what you're going to find. Here on another end cap, even more toys. This is the time to stock up for Christmas. Okay. Now we are moving right next to there and they have some new yarn. Love the colors. 131 yards. Beautiful green, mauve, blue, taupe, purple, and a darker blue. Moving down here, they have some other new yarn with little pom-poms. Great to make a scarf or a gnome. Ooh, didn't think about that until now. Here's some new Buddha statues. These are different than what they had before and they are heavy. I feel like they're made out of stone. Okay, they have these little wooden shadow box with a little character there on the top. Love the barn. Oh, look at these little trinket trays. These are teeny tiny balls. So they have a bear, a cat, and a llama and these were heavy. 
And there's some more little trinket trays. Love the colors. Made very nice. They also have all the letters here again. Love these. If you find them, snatch one up. Oh, I found some more trinket trays, so let me just show you all four. Beautiful paintings on them. And these are heavy. Okay, moving back down here to the letters. Oh, I just absolutely love these. These are just amazing. Okay, let's go check out some dinosaurs. These are not banks or anything. They're little, um, like, porcelain statues. Three different ones. If you have a robot lover in your life, and then here you go. They have all these different color ones. Now I say these probably about four inches tall if I had to guess. And let's see here, they have the silver one. And down here they have the matching spaceship. This would be good for someone that likes Buzz Lightyear. Oh, I love these. These are like mason jars, banks, Girls just want to have funds. Treat fund. Saving for hair, nails, shoes. Can't touch this. Holy cow, this thing was heavy. Tea light holder. Wow. That has some weight. I'm just going to step back and scan through the shelves here. Look how nice this Dollar Tree is again. Oh, I'm just so happy, you guys. Oh. I think this is a new frame. It's an 8x10, and it's like an off-gray color. And this one was gold and brown, 5x7. Here's some body wash in two different scents. Afrin. My phone wouldn't focus. What is this? eye compresses. You get 30 of them. Tired, apply, refresh. If it was only that easy. They have some new little flower pots. There's actually four of them, but these are the only two they had. Cute. That'd be cute to even have uh, toothpicks in or uh, Q-tips. Boy, talk about nautica rope. They had a ton of it. Here are the mermaid trinket trays. Now these are different. These are a lot bigger than the ones they had last year. I'm going to try to compare the size for you. So there's the last or the um, first one. And now here is the new one. And I had it in three colors. Here's a little uh, massager thing. I don't know what that's supposed to do, but cool. Different colors. They have some new cat toys. These are suction cups. It looks like a little pineapple, but I don't know what it is. And different colors of mice. <gasps> Look at these containers. What? These things were huge. Love the lid. Rubber grip. Nice. This one is uh, clear with the black paw prints. And the red one back here says a house is not a home without paw prints. Amen to that. Cute. This is a pretty color of the storage bins by Essentials. Lots and lots of storage bins here wired baskets. They have a bunch of the tool bench storage containers. These are perfect for your craft, craft items. <laughs> I almost said crap. <laughs> Don't know who would store that. Okay, these phone holders, they had these last year, but these feel a lot better. The other ones were plastic. These feel more like a rubber. They have it in three different size, uh, colors. Here are smart watch bands. I think it said 42 millimeter, whatever that's supposed to mean. Some new lanyards, 22 inch. I 
They had a lot of baby t-shirts. They had like 2T, 3T, and 4T. They had it in white, gray, and black. Lots of fuzzy socks and hats and scarves and gloves. Not going to spend much time over here. Here's some new hard candy makeup. Lip color in purple. They also have the flower lip gloss by Drew Barrymore. Okay, I don't know why I'm recording this because I think they've had this for what a hundred years. I don't know. For some reason, it just caught my eye. Isn't that pretty? It's a storage container with a lid. How exciting! Okay, now I know these are new. These are cute little kitchen towels. These are 100% polyester. I'm lying. It's 100% cotton. Just seeing if you're paying attention. Love the oven mitts. I have never noticed an oven mitt feel like that. It felt like it was like silky. Huh. Like it. I like it. I like it a lot. They also have the matching hot pads. You get two per pack. And the dishcloths. You get two. And here's some new um, pot holders. Here's a new mop head. Mop head. Handle sold separately. Okay, well, that's the end of our Dollar Tree trip. I sure hope you enjoyed it and you're able to find some goodies too. Jot down onto your wish list. If you want, why don't you go ahead and comment down below and let me know if you've seen something in hopes that you can find at one of your local Dollar Trees. If you enjoyed this video, I would love a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would really love to have you. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram or TikTok, I'll go ahead and link those down below. Also, if you'd like to send a picture of your pet, or a scenery picture, you can do so through Instagram, and I've been adding those at the end of my videos. So, as always, I want to say thank you for always taking the time out of your day to stop and watch my videos. So I hope you all have a wonderful, beautiful, safe Friday, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Keep smiling.